Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And of course you saw the title of the video in today's video. I'm gonna be showing you a few DIYs that I put together for you so that you can turn your trash into cash. Okay, so I'm gonna take a pot and we're gonna boil some water. I'm just gonna be taking these egg cartons and we're gonna tear them down. Once that water starts to boil, we'll throw them in. So let's get started. So I wanted to show you where I got this inspiration. And if you haven't already, I think I've actually mentioned her in my YouTube channel before. But you should go ahead and follow Wood in Home Accents on Instagram if you aren't already. I will leave her Instagram link down below as well. But she made these beautiful bowls as you can see right here. And I just became obsessed with the shape and how they had like the four handles on the sides. So I wanted to create my own version. Now I don't really know what she used to create them, but she's got like her own little thing on Instagram where, oh, okay. So she used these right here. So I'm going to use egg cartons instead to create my version, but if you want to check out the original inspiration video, head over to her Instagram so you can check it out. All right, let's get back to what I'm doing. And essentially, you would just throw these in the trash anyway, so we are going to turn this trash into something cool, so let's find out. So right now, all I have is two egg cartons in here and i was gonna try and put six total so i'm not sure if i should keep going because it's already kind of full but i might try for a third one and see how full this gets can always add more water too so i fit in three total of the egg cartons and i'm just lightly stirring this up letting this boil it's looking pretty good i just think at this point it should be good enough to go ahead and put into a blender and blend this into a nice pulp. I could actually use it the way it is right in this bowl. It looks moldable to me, and that's all I really want. It doesn't need to be super fine. Like, it can have a little bit of chunk in there because I'm going to push it down and flatten it out anyway. So I actually think... I might skip the blender this time because I have made this in the past. The next thing that you want to do is squeeze out most of this water that's in there. But it's boiling hot, so I'm going to let this cool down before I do that step. Once you got this boiled down, you just basically want to strain out the water. So I have a container with a little tea towel that will help strain the water out. And we'll just scoop all of this in here. Let's see, I can just do this. And the water is coming out. Oh, it's still a little hot right now, but I can tell you right now, you really don't need the blender. If you boil this long enough and then squeeze out the water, you can see this is perfectly fine to work with.
So I took the bowls off and I'm gonna let it dry this way now. Once they're dry, I can paint them. So I went to the hardware store and I just picked up like a tester, like a sample size. This was about $5. I got the color Sauteed Mushroom in this paint and it is just like wall paint, but I figured this would work for this project. So this is the color. I think it's such a pretty, like, like a grayish brown tan color. So it's really, really pretty. But this is going to be a really nice base color to do these bowls in. So I'm just going to paint the entire bowl. I'm just going to paint the whole surface. And then I'm going to go over it once it's dry with some antiquing wax. And I just want to point out, this might seem like common sense, but I just want to say this so that you guys, you know, do the same if you do create this project. This is very textured surface, so you can't just paint it like this. You have to go this way, that way, this way, that way, and do little circle motions with your brush. That way it ensures that it pushes the paint into all the little holes and things that are on the surface. So we really want to cover this piece. So if you want to do another layer, you could totally do that. But I'm just doing one layer, and then I'm going to do a layer of the wax right over it. The wax, I will focus into those little indentations so that it really stands out and makes it look like it's an aged bowl. For the next bowl, I wanted to try staining it. I have this Rust-Oleum wood stain in the color Aged Wheat. It says it dries in an hour, so this is the bowl I wanted to, so I did a different shape. So this is the bowl I wanted to try staining, so I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. I'm thinking I'll have to use, like, a brush or something. The color is a lot darker. It looks a lot more green, like a green brown, but it's fine with me looks different. It's going on kind of similar to paint. It's not like super oily. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this and then maybe I'll go over it with the antique wax. And in case you're new here, welcome. This is David Owen Creates, and I host this challenge every four months. So I will leave a playlist link down below in the description box so you can get some more inspiration from everyone's videos. So make sure you check out the playlist, leave a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now let's move on to the next DIY. I have this container here I wanted to turn into a little planter and I'm just going to cover it with joint compound and then I'm going to be adding some of these bottle caps into the joint compound. So I'm just going to put those to the side and I'm going to cover the whole thing. So just adding this joint compound is going to give this piece some weight and it's also covering up the labels and things on the plastic. So when you display this, you have a whole new container and you don't have to use this as a planter if you didn't want to. You know, you could make little cute little canisters if you like had the lid. You could repeat this process on the lid and just create a cute little canister or something for your kitchen. I'll probably go back through and add some texture on this, but for now I want this to dry and then I'll kind of do the top of it right in here. Get some of this off my fingers. So I'm thinking just adding, you know, cover the piece up and just adding these really randomly and just cover the whole piece like this.
Just adding a little bit more visual interest, I guess. I don't, you know, I don't really right, know. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and let this piece dry. It's upside down right now. Once it's dry, I can go in and kind of sand down so this is a bit smoother and not so like clumpy. So we'll let that dry and I'll come back to this. So I just wanted to add this as a little idea for you, but I found this glass bottle in the trash and it sparked an idea that why couldn't I just reuse this by removing the label and now I have an empty vessel that I could put anything in. So I went ahead and did this one off camera. So this is just painted with the same color as this one, that kind of mushroom tan color. And then I went over it with the antiquing wax. So it looks super old and aged. Love how this turned out. This one only has two handles. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one off camera. I'm gonna show you a little bit, I guess, of this one with the antiquing wax. And this one, I'm not really sure what else to put on it. I don't really know if I like this color or not, but maybe I'll put some antiquing wax on this one as well and see what it does. So I'm mainly focusing this antique wax anywhere where there's like a little crease or something. So like right in this area on the little handle, there'd be a lot of darkness where dirt and stuff may have gathered over the years. That's just kind of what I'm thinking of when I'm applying this. Maybe some on the handle there and down here. And then once you're ready, you can just wipe this back with a paper towel, which I like to do that in little sections. That way I know the stuff isn't drying. If it dries like that, then you, you'll just have a weird splotchiness. We just want to make sure we're wiping it every now and then. Wipe it off and then put more on if we need to. So see, I can still see a little bit of white popping through right here. So I'll just really focus this antiquing wax right in that area. Then you can go over and just give it a wipe. And... That's how it will look. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of this off camera and we'll see the result. So I'm just going to focus like right in here, here, any little indentation areas, same right in here. I'll put like a lot in this section, little areas that are white right now because the paint didn't fully saturate. So I do want to try this though and see what it's going to look like on this darker piece. I really don't know. Let's wipe this back. I kind of like this. I might go over the whole piece with the antique wax. i just rub it in like this so you can see a little bit of this color popping through. Again, I'll just finish this off camera so we don't have to watch me do this, and then I'll show you the end results and how much I end up selling these for. But I do want to point out, these are rock hard. Like, these are really, really hard. 
The egg cartons really do work to make paper mache with. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to check out that playlist. I linked it down below so that you can get more inspiration on what trash you can flip and earn some cash. Until my next video, bye.